Can I help you? <laughs> this is probably a horrible, disgusting angle, but it's okay. I wanted to show you guys, I got a PR package today for Benefit, so let's open it. I want Benefit's like Club Pink PR, which I could not be any more grateful for. I am so excited and I get a monthly box from them. So let's see what's in here. I already know what's in here. So this is what it looks like, you guys. These boxes are always like my favorite to get. They're so cute. So it's Benefits Most Wanted. The new Holy Grails, the A-Team. Today's full face lineup, whatever you want to call them. These are the best of Benefit just for you. You guys, these are nothing new to me. I am Benefits number one fan, if you couldn't tell. And this is what is inside. So we got Precisely My Brow Pencil, 24 Hour Brow Setter, Bad Gal Bang Mascara, Benetint, Hula Bronzer, Pore Professional Primer, and the Deep Retreat Mask, which I literally have sitting in front of me because I use this all the time. It's so good. If you guys didn't know though, Benefit is like my number one like dream brand to work with. I absolutely love Benefit. I went to their brow search last year. That's why I have my little Benefit tracksuit, which big flex. I think I like to wear this out in public and pretend like I'm somebody even though I'm literally nobody. I'm gonna be hopping on a Zoom call probably in about 10 minutes now, I think. Yeah, it's 8.15. My Zoom call is at 8.30. It's with Pacifica. I'm so excited, you guys. It's like a virtual slumber party to celebrate National Sleep Day and talk about some products. So I'm gonna change into a different set of jammies, pour myself a little glass of wine and tune in and I'm so excited. And I'm gonna take you guys with me. Okay, you guys, this is my little PJ set. Shout out Walmart because these are the most comfortable PJs ever and they're literally from Walmart, but they're like these cute little polka dots. I'm obsessed because they're pink. I'm gonna put you guys here so you guys can see. I don't know if it's just me, but I always join Zoom calls like way too early and then just sit here and wait for the host to let me join. So now for my air sign. Good morning, my baby kitty. He's so handsome, Rocky. Um, good morning, my Mr. Champion. Look how handsome my kitties are. They are the prettiest boys. Good morning, my beautiful friends. It is now Tuesday morning. Yes. Oh my God. Last night, I recorded like a 45 minute long clip of me in that Zoom call with Pacifica. There's some really loud sirens outside right now. So sorry. Anyway, I ended up drinking an entire bottle of wine last night. Kind of an accident. Kind of not an accident, but we're up now. I don't work until three today. I work at three to nine. So we're about to go to Aroma Joe's. We secured the goods. This is my rush that I normally get. It's a green alien rush. I don't remember what's in it. Is it green apple, blue raspberry? I think so. I think it's just green apple and blue raspberry, but it's really yummy. What did you get? Green apple, cranberry. And Dalton got green apple and cranberry, which sounds so yummy. We got some brekkies too, because we are starving. I got the bacon and egg. No, bacon and cheese egg bites, which I have not tried before, but I'm excited to try them because they smell really yummy. Filming in the mirror. This is my self-tan t-shirt. It's like this oversized Boston Bruins t-shirt. I actually love it, but then it kind of got dingy. So now I just wear it when I self-tan and I've been marinating in this self-tan. I used my usual. This is the two hour express tan from Loving Tan. It's so good, an ultra dark. <laughs> literally just exploded all over my hand, but it's fine. I'm gonna jump in the shower, rinse this off, and then I have to get ready for work. So we had a little slight change in plans. My manager texted me and said that I was cut from work today because we have been so slow. This is my fit. I'm gonna go film my videos for the day because I still obviously wanna upload my videos for the day. Oh my God, she's an egg with eyebrows. I just did a TikTok live, which I literally never do because I get so nervous to go on live because like, please tell me why people are so mean on live. It's fine though. So I did my brows because I normally just do my brows off camera in my videos anyway. And now I'm making myself a little lunch and then I'm gonna film the rest of my videos for the day. Realistically, what I would like to do if I had this as like a full-time job is like get up early, film my content and have like my filming done by like 12 o'clock. Then I can just like have the rest of my day to like edit and then post and then just like reply to emails and stuff. But currently it's 3.02, I'm home for three days in a row. So tomorrow I'm gonna start my actual influencer life style career if that makes sense i'm gonna wake up early i'm gonna film the content i'm gonna edit it post it on like my posting schedule reply to emails like pick up my house and just like relax and see how it goes that's gonna be my life um 
I really don't like filming this late in the day. It makes me really depressed and I don't know why, what the like logic is behind it, but. This is such a bad angle, I'm so sorry. I finished filming for the day. This is the makeup, I love it. But I'm making dinner now. I actually really like to cook. If you guys didn't know that about me, which you probably didn't because I never mentioned it before, but we're gonna make some roasted potatoes and some chicken breast and Brussels sprouts. I absolutely love Brussels sprouts. That is um, by far my favorite vegetable ever. But I just have these like little Florida golden potatoes. I don't know what side of TikTok you guys were on, but for a while there I was on like British cooking TikTok and these roast potatoes are absolutely amazing. They take a little bit of like time and love, but they are so worth it in the end. They're like the most crispy, salty, most delicious thing ever. Um, I don't make them often because like I said, they take some time, but obviously I will show you guys dinner when it's done. That way you can see. Cooking is one of my like hobbies. I think that like when I cook, I shut off the rest of like the thoughts in my brain. I really like it. It helps me to like distract from other things that stress me out in life. And I don't know, I guess just like any other hobby, I just really enjoy it. Okay, I cleaned off my Brussels sprouts. They're all rinsed and chopped and everything and we're gonna season them up. So first I'm gonna start with some olive oil. Let's coat them real good. These are the seasonings. So we have crushed red pepper flakes, just a tiny, tiny bit because I just like to add a little spice. Kosher salt. We have garlic powder, some black pepper and onion powder, pretty basic. It's so humid in Florida that all of my spices get like clumped together. Not cute. We're gonna start with garlic powder. No, this is onion powder. If any wants to come out, okay, there we go. A little bit of onion powder. Garlic powder, you can never have too much garlic. I'm sorry, I don't care what you say. Garlic is amaze. Black pepper. Like I said, just like a little bit of the crushed red pepper flakes. Just so it's like oh, a little bit spicy, but nothing too much. We like spicy here. Some salt. So I love Brussels sprouts. They're my favorite vegetable literally ever. I can eat them every single day. And then I like to just like fry them up in a pan, crispy with like butter. Okay, we have our potatoes all drained. You just wanna make them like fork tender. And then you're just gonna like shake them around in the strainer just to almost like rough up the edges. This is gonna make them crisp up really, really well when you get them like coated in oil. It just almost gives them like that Fuzzy is not the right word, but like fuzzy texture on the outside. And look at that, my oven's preheated. These are gonna be with oil, and I know it's a lot of oil. I never said this was a healthy recipe. These I'm gonna pop in the oven, and you're gonna wanna like flip them and baste them with the oil like every 30-ish minutes until they're nice and crispy. Okay, I didn't film me like cooking the rest of it, but this is what it looks like all plated up. I did lemon pepper on the chicken. Same seasoning for the, um, Brussels sprouts is the potatoes, and these are what the potatoes end up looking like. They're so crispy, it's so yummy, and that is it for tonight. Good morning, YouTube. It is Wednesday now. I woke up a little bit later than I wanted to today, but that's okay. Um, like I said, baby steps. It is currently 9.06. I got up, though. I did my dishes. Picked up my house last night before bed, which very proud of myself for. Currently, I am making a banana bread so that I can pop it in the oven, go film, and then by the time I'm done filming, I can have this for breakfast. I'm still planning on being done filming by like 12 o'clock today. Nothing crazy that way. I can pretty much do like a normal work day and edit some videos, reply to emails, send emails, and just kind of relax because I think I get so stressed out when my work day becomes me procrastinating and filming my videos all day long and then I'm not done filming by the time my boyfriend gets home at five. So that really stresses me out. I just need to get on this like schedule where I'm filming in the morning, editing my videos in the afternoon and having them like ready to post so that I don't stress myself out too much. So I just did something way more embarrassing than I'd ever like to admit. And as I was making my banana bread, I dropped my camera into the mixture. So thankfully I didn't get any on the lens. It got in like some crevices. It took me a little while to clean it out, but it should be fine. Um, that was almost a $600 oopsie. I'm gonna get ready to film now. I'm gonna go take a quick shower and then yeah, sit down to film for the day. Okay guys, this is what the makeup's looking like so far. Obviously I don't have my lips on yet cause I'm gonna do a lip combo video and I got freaking mascara on my nose, but it's fine. We moved to the bathroom cause I'm gonna style my hair now. I like to have my hair look somewhat cute in my videos if I can. I've been loving this from Amika. It's their block aid. This is like a hair, um, 
heat protecting serum. It's almost like an oil, so you wanna be careful not to use too much. It is really lightweight and I love the way it smells because I absolutely love Amika products. Okay, now I've gone through like straight into my hair and I'm gonna go through and curl it. I use this tool that I got on TikTok shop. This is from Heritage. It's like their two-in-one styler. So it's like a straightener, but it curls and it blows air from the outside that like cools and sets your style as you style your hair. So I really like this because I just go through, twist, and pull the hair all the way through. That's how I've been curling my hair lately. And it's like perfect every time. So I just do that all the way around. Okay, this is what the hair turned out looking like. This has been like my go-to hairstyle. It's not perfect, but where I have these bangs in the front, I can't curl all of it because it looks really weird. So I just put it in these little like pigtails. Like I said, it's kind of messy, but it's kind of the vibe that we're going for. And I think it's cute. Okay, this is what the makeup looks like in better lighting with like my lip on and everything. You guys, like I said, I filmed for my TikTok. So if you don't follow me over there, shameless plug, I will make you follow me. I'm putting my username on the screen. So I'm getting ready to leave the house now. I'm going to Ulta because I insist on going there even on my days off. Why? Who knows? Not me. But this is the outfit of the day. Not that you can really see. I'm wearing my baggy jeans. These are from American Eagle. Are they? Um, yeah. These are the American Eagle like baggy straight leg jeans. I absolutely am obsessed with them. They are amazing. And then just a white top. This is like my go-to fit because... I'm basic, but I feel like I can wear whatever makeup I want and this outfit is cute. I wanted to show you guys fragrance of the day. I'm going to wear this one from K. Ollie. This is the Eden Sparkling Lychee 39. It's very, very nice. Also, I was going for peach vibes today and I don't have a fragrance that's peach, so I feel like lychee is maybe the closest thing. And that is it. We're going to Ulta because I need to get lashes. I ran out completely. How did I let that happen? Who knows, not me. <laughs> and then probably just like look around and say hi to my friends. Okay guys, we made it to Ulta. I'm gonna go inside, grab what I need, which I said, just lashes, but I'm just gonna like look around and see what they have. I wanna know what today's semi-annual beauty sale is because I'm not sure what the deal is for today. So sorry if you can hear my air conditioner. It is getting so hot again in Florida, but we got the goods from Ulta and TJ Maxx. Let's do a little haul, shall we? The fact that my Ulta is right next to TJ Maxx is so dangerous. I haven't gotten TJ Maxx in so long, so I'm trying to be disciplined, but let me show you what I got at Ulta first. I did have some points to use plus my employee discount, so it makes me feel a little bit better about it. So first I picked up a restock. These are the Kiss Ruffle Lashes. These are one of my go-to styles. These and Jubilee. If you don't follow me on TikTok, I'm going to say it a million times, but I use these over there all the time. They're just classic. They're very good for like everyday looks, so I like to have these on hand. Then from NYX, I got the Jumbo Lash. This is in the style Fringe Glam. These are actually really good. I feel like these are a hidden gem when it comes to drugstore lashes. They were, I think, like a Target exclusive forever, and now we finally just got them at Ulta, and I'm so excited. Again, these are just like a good everyday kind of lash that you can wear with like a more simple clean girl aesthetic look and then we did get these ones from kiss these ones are going to be more for like dramatic looks they're part of the masterpiece collection and they are the avant-garde lashes i actually have used these ones before also they are really really pretty so now i have options when it comes to my lashes which i love because i always need to have a, a lot of lashes stocked up and then tj maxx was kind of just like a rash decision it's fine we only spent 30 dollars so really not terrible but i will show you what i did get i got again just some like essentials i got more of these headbands they're like the get ready with me headbands i got a black one because i don't have a black one currently this was 5.99 i think black is perfect to have because it matches every aesthetic and then i found a pack of two that comes with blue and green and this one was 6.99 for two which really isn't bad at all and then i wanted the green and the blue i had them separately but then i found the pack of two so why not i had a blue one this is like my favorite color blue and then it broke so i had to throw it away and then a green one i've never had but i think they're very very pretty colors and they're really good to have on hand and then you guys i'm so excited i get to be one of these girlies that has a little fan for like after you spray your setting spray you dry off your face with the little fan and it's a little handheld i'm actually gonna open this so i can see i'm so excited this was also 5.99 like i said the things that i picked up were like so cheap so i don't really feel that bad but look at that that's actually so nice also i feel like it gets so hot in florida i could just like have this 
Um, I love this. This is very extra, but very, very excited that I got that. And it comes with like a stand and everything. That is so cool. Last thing I picked up from TJ Maxx is some more of these powder puffs. You guys, these are a hidden gem at TJ Maxx because I can never find powder puffs like this anywhere else. These come in a pack of six. I currently have these at home. Um, I think mine are like hot pink and black, but regardless, it comes with six of them for $7.99, which is such a good deal. And these are so soft, such good quality. I have the Beauty Blender Powder Puff, and I also have the Elf Powder Puff. Other than that, my Huda Beauty Powder Puffs are my favorite, but I will always choose these ones over the Elf and the Beauty Blender. So that's the real tea, you guys. If you want powder puffs, go get them at TJ Maxx. Also, the shape of these is just perfect. They're like the perfect triangle shape. They fit right under the eye chef's kiss and i love it so yeah that's the haul that was our little outing of the day now i'm gonna go back home continue to edit pick up my house and do my normal household things good morning friends we are currently getting ready it is 8 23 and we're going to the tart kindness tour today i'm so excited this is like a little pop-up event that tart is having in tampa they're like touring the u.s currently doing pop-ups everywhere the CEO and founder of Tarte, Maureen Kelly, is going to be speaking at USF. Sadly, the tickets for that sold out so fast, so I wasn't able to get tickets for that. I ended up actually DMing her on TikTok and, like, being like, hey, like, I know there's probably not any way, but, like, would there be any way? Like, I really would love to come, love to see you, because I thought it was for the entire pop-up event. And she actually responded to me, you guys. But they are doing the actual pop-up at a little coffee shop downtown. It's called Lady in the Mug. So that's going to be from 12 to 2. But I want to get there pretty early just to make sure we can, like, find parking. And it's in a really pretty area. So we can, like, get our coffees, like, walk around, chill out, have a good time. So I'm very excited. From the videos I've seen from other people going to different locations of this pop-up, there is a lot of little, like, free goodies you get, like a tote bag and some like free tart products and then they have the shape tape mascot and it's just really cute and i just figured it'd be so good to like get content for you guys as well so that's what we're gonna do this morning but yeah guys i'm just doing some skincare i told you guys in my last vlog literally like last week that i wasn't feeling the greatest i keep feeling like on and off sick so last night i took some night quill before bed because i feel really congested but the allergies in florida are so bad right now i never ever had allergies once in my life until i moved here but the allergens are just different like the pollen here is different but it's been so bad recently like it's affecting everybody but i felt so congested last night so i'll go take some night quill which literally knocked me out um, but I woke up feeling so tired and so groggy this morning, so I'm definitely gonna still drink my, like, energy drink, try and, like, wake myself up, eat some breakfast, and get ready to go. Okay, makeup is pretty much done. I just have to do, like, my lip and my finishing touches, but I am running a little bit behind the schedule that I made for myself, so I'm just gonna throw my hair up. Originally, I was gonna blow dry it and do, like, my hairstyle, but I'm just gonna do it in a little slick back bun because, you know, worst comes to worst, it's the easiest thing for me to do. Okay guys, this is the finished hair and makeup. I'm actually so in love. And then this is my fit for today. Just a black Skims bodysuit and my jeans. These are the only jeans I ever wear, but they are my favorite, so that's why. We are here at the Tarte Kindness Tour Stop in Tampa. This line is ridiculous. I don't know what I expected, but probably not this. It's also so hot outside and I left my drink and my lip gloss in the car. So we're off to a great start. And we just found out that Samantha Jo is gonna be here and I am literally fangirling. I love her so much. So yeah, you guys will see because I'm taking you with me. Literally so many people showed up that they did not expect this much turnout. They're already telling us that they're going to be like out of bags maybe by the time we get up there, but we'll see. I definitely still want to like meet everybody and like see because it's so cute. And honestly, I want to get pictures with like the shape tape mascot. Guys, we are so close now. I'm so excited. Will you say yeah. hi to my vlog? I will. Hi hey guys. guys. We're here with Maureen, the CEO of Tarte. On our kindness tour. Yes, we love in it. In Tampa. Thank you for coming out. This eyeshadow, this makeup is popping, girl. Thank you. It was like Purple perfect. for Tarte. Thank you for representing. <laughs> We're in line to meet the Samantha Joe. You guys, I'm freaking out. She's literally my inspiration for this vlog account. <laughs> So we just got Dunkin' Delivery Donuts. So cute. Hi, oh, wait, guys. Did you vlog 
like this is the same hey. vlog camera that hey. Andrew uses. Is that my Hello. <laughs> it's such a slight. Look at her. Can we just admire? I'm gonna let type her up. Can we get some? Cute. No, it didn't work. Sorry, I did try. Wait, no, let's type her makeup up. Woo! Yes, purple for tar. You put in the effort and we love. Yeah. Thank we you. Love. Thank you. <laughs> okay, guys, that was a lot. The event was originally, we're home now, by the way, if you can't tell. This is my living room. <laughs> the event was from 12 to 2 originally. They didn't even end up starting until like 1, 1.30, I want to say. It was so busy. The mm -hmm. line was wrapped all the way around. It was literally insane. Also, we did not get through the line by 2. It was, what time was it when we got up there? to meet Maureen. It, I don't even know, but right now it is almost 5.30 and we just got home. So it was insane. I got to meet Samantha Joe. She was there, which I didn't know she was gonna be there. You guys, she is like my obsession. She's like my motivation for posting these vlogs. Honestly, I've been like binge watching all of her stuff. And Andrew was there too. If you guys don't watch their podcast, it's literally incredible. Their podcast is called Sidetracked and I literally listen to all the episodes. I love them. They're like my comfort YouTubers at the moment. And I got to take a picture with them and they were so encouraging. And you guys will see them. They literally were in my vlog and they were the nicest people ever. I could have sat there and talked to them for so long, which is why the line kept taking forever. But like, once I got up there, it was worth it, you guys. They ended up running out of the little goodie bags that they were giving people before we got up to the front. So they basically said that we have to email Tarte and let them know that we were at the Tampa Kindness Tour stop and that they will send us a bag. So hopefully we get our hands on that, but they did not expect the turnout that they got. It was legitimately insane, but I am so grateful. I am so sunburned. I literally, you guys, my thing is like, I haven't had a sunburn in like two years. I am an SPF freak and like, I will literally make sure everyone around me is wearing SPF. And um, I am a dumbass and just forgot to put sunscreen on because I didn't think I was gonna be standing outside all day, even though I literally was standing outside for like five hours. <laughs> but it feels so nice to be home now, you guys. I did get a package I'm gonna be unboxing for you guys from Merit and I'm so excited. Okay guys, so while I was on my little Tarte pop-up event today, I got a package from Merit and I was so excited to come home to open this, you guys. So let me show you what is in here if I can figure out how to open this. Oh, I see. Cute, okay. Cute, okay, so we have makeup you can live in, signature lip matte. You guys, look at the bag. Oh my God, it's so cute. I have a million bags at this point, but I'm so excited to open this. Let's see. Oh, that is luxe. Okay, this is literally Merit Signature Lip. That's what it says. It's a little velvet case. That's so cool. Okay, so we have four in here. We have Antibes, I think. Mason, Power. These are not gonna focus, but it's fine. And Classic, let me open these. This packaging, you guys, stunning. I'm obsessed. Let's see. This is what they look like, stunning. That one is Classic. She's so stunning. Okay, this is like a really pretty pinky red. That one is power. How stunning is that? One there is Mason. Yeah, that's gonna be my go-to. That is absolutely gorgeous. I cannot wait to try these on you guys. Stay tuned, I'll be posting a TikTok about these shortly. And thank you, Merit. 